today we're going to be making our own magical yet. Someone to be by our side with their big smiling face to remind us that even if we're a beginner and we're not good at it right now, it just means we're not good at it yet and it might take some time. So the first thing we need to do is talk about how we're going to draw our yet. And we're going to be thinking about our yet in terms of shape. So shapes are two-dimensional, which means they're flat. They usually exist on a flat surface. And we're going to split our shapes into two different categories. The first category is going to be geometric. And geometric shapes, as you'll see in a second, are kind of shapes that relate to math or things that are man-made. And organic or natural shapes, things that we can usually find in nature. So let's start with geometric shapes. I like to think of them as the shapes that have names and rules. Squares have four even sides. Rectangles have four sides as well. Triangles have three sides. Circles are a round, even shape. We have an oval, we have a trapezoid, we have a diamond shape or a rhombus. We also have a hexagon. So geometric shapes follow rules and their names really depend on how many sides they have, are they curved, or are they straight? Organic and natural shapes are usually things that we find in nature. So like a water droplet or a cloud. Clouds definitely can be different shapes. There's a leaf, but there's many different kinds of leaves. That looks like a splat. That could be almost anything. This one kind of looks like a flower, but it could be a lot of other things too. So when you think about organic shapes, they're shapes that might not quite follow a rule, they might have a name, but they're shapes nonetheless because they are an outline that closes. So if you have a line that doesn't close, it's not really a shape. So make sure that when you're drawing shapes, that it doesn't have any open areas and it closes all the way. So now that we've seen a menu of shapes that we can use, we're going to start drawing. So you need a blank piece of paper, you need a pencil, and if you have drawing materials like markers, crayons, or color pencils, you can use those too. So first we're gonna do an oval together in the middle of our paper for the face of our yet. And if you need to pause at any point, go ahead and push pause, and then play again when you're ready. You're gonna draw two circles for the eyes, and then we're gonna draw a smiley face underneath. We're gonna first start with a line that's under the eyes, that curves from one eye to the other, but not touching them. And then we're gonna make it a shape by going from one end, dipping under and coming back. Now, if your face doesn't look exactly like this one, that is okay. We want our magical yet to look different. So as long as you have a smiling face, you're in good shape. Now what we're gonna do is, if you have a marker, gonna frame outline them and fill the inside of our eyes and our mouth and then outline our head. If you don't have a marker, you can also use pencil to do this. Try to shade in those shapes and do it with good craftsmanship, which means to try to do it neatly so that the color looks nice and even. Now we're going to look at our menu of shapes for inspiration. You can also use other shapes. The only thing I ask of you is that when you're designing your yet, I want you to use both geometric and organic shapes. Also, I don't want you to copy my yet because, well, it's my yet. So use shapes that you like that kind of remind you of a personality that you feel like your yet would have. So I need a cloud because my yet's kind of a dreamer. That's an organic shape. I did triangles because it kind of reminded me of a crown. Those are geometric shapes. So I've already used both kind of shapes. I'm gonna give my yet arms that are like organic. I'm gonna give my yet a body. So think about the different parts of your yet. It's kind of like a little creature. So you wanna make sure that it has a way to move around, that it's kind of magical and decorative looking. And you want the shapes to connect to each other, even if you can't see the whole shape. You don't want any openings in your lines, so that way you can color in the shapes as they're closed. 
and give my yet a way to move. I'm going to give my yet more triangular type shapes, even though I can't see the bottom. Once again, for me, my yet has a crown. Maybe your yet has a hat or antennae. Maybe your yet has wheels. Or maybe your yet is square instead of kind of spiky like mine. Or maybe your yet has a ton of circles on it. Either way, choose the shapes that you want for your yet. Once you have finished drawing your yet with pencil, either outline it with a marker or a crayon or a colored pencil or a pen, or just make your lines thicker with pencil. And this is also a good time to check to make sure there's no openings, that everything has its own space. Even if the shapes aren't complete, they at least touch another shape so that they close. All right, so now we're gonna color our yet, or if you have pencil, you can shade some parts of your yet. But when you're coloring, make some decisions about how you can use color to maybe express even farther the personality of your yet. So maybe my yet's kind of bright and wants to have those bright spikes coming out. I also might want to use a color more than once in my yet so that it feels unified. So I use yellow up top and in the middle. I use this kind of peach color in some of my shapes. Taking my time to kind of frame and fill my areas neatly using good craftsmanship so that way you really see my yet for its shapes and its wonderful smile and I'm not too distracted by a lot of lines. I'm also, for me, making a decision about my yet having kind of warmer colors for this one be my geometric shapes. And I'm going to use cooler colors for my more organic shapes. So however you want to color your yet or shade it in, take a few minutes to do that. If you need to pause the video to color in your yet, you may do that or play it until it gets to the next part which will be us making a few designs in the background. All right, here is my magical yet. Now to make it magical, I'm going to do stars or sparkles all around my yet. So I want you to make your stars or sparkles however you feel comfortable. They could be like little diamonds with little dots around them. They could be little X's with crosses through them to make like a sparkle. Look how I'm also using the same colors as my yet. So that way it looks all unified, which means it looks like it belongs together. I'm also doing many of the different kinds of sparkles all around my yet. So if you want to do just stars or just dots or just little diamonds, it's up to you. But try to use all the different colors you used in your yet. Or if you use pencil, maybe try to do darker lines, lighter lines, different kinds of dots. Like you see there on my left yet, it has radiating lines, so it looks really excited and ready to go. And congratulations, you've made your yet. 
you've made a little creature that symbolizes what's possible. So even when you come across things that are hard and you know, I can't do this right now, this little yet's going to be there to smile and cheer you on, to tell you to keep trying and that you can shape yourself to be anything you'd like to be. When you are all done coloring your yet, make sure that you take a photo and turn it into your teacher, however they would like you to turn it in. And then once you're done turning in your photo, make sure you put your yet somewhere to remind you that even when things are hard, it doesn't mean that they're going to be hard forever. You just might not have gotten there yet. And this little creature is here to cheer you on. I want to thank you all for watching today, drawing your magical yet with shapes. And until next time, have fun creating.